Hi there. This video today is about how to silver brush blade onto stainless steel. Um, as you maybe know, to plate silver or brush blade silver on directly onto stainless steel is not straightforward. Well, it is, but you need an undercoat. You need the, the easiest way. What I normally do is plate a flash of, of gold on it, a little bit of gold, which I show you. I've I've put used gold on there. This is a normal piece of stainless steel, highly polished. You get it already delivered like this. Use MPU. Shake it very well, like always. And clean it, in case you haven't seen the other videos from, from me, about cleaning and activating. So you clean it and activate at the same time with MPU, that's it basically. You can wash it off now or you can rinse it like I like I do, I rinse it off. Um, yeah, that's it. Now you can see it's activated and clean. It was anyway quite clean anyway, so, so now I put gold on and it's not plating. So now I check, okay, I check there's no current going through. So I unplug it and plug it back in, it was not connected, it was not plugged in very well. So I unplug it now, I'll, I'll try again, now it, it's working, I can see the amp meter moving now. And you can see the gold straight away is going on. But this is quite that's that's a used solution, the gold what I use. I use it only for flashing anyway. This is why the gold plating takes a little bit longer than than normal. If I would use new solution, it would plate a lot quicker. But it will do for now, it's only for the show we have show purposes. Make sure you cover everything and make sure you rinse it very well in between before you plate with uh, silver. Right, make sure everything is covered and then rinse it. Make sure it rinse very well because contamination between gold and silver is... If you contaminate gold and silver, mix it together, you have a problem, definitely. Right, now turn the rectifier down to, which I do now, you can't see the rectifier, to about maximum three and a half. We played normally, I have it on three and a half now, but I'll show you how quickly it can burn. So I've got it on three and a half, this is the maximum what you can really play to silver, and you can see how quickly it goes on, very quickly. The contents of the silver in the silver plating solution is quite high, a lot higher than the gold, but it's a lot cheaper anyway. Um, so if I stop now, hold on, I'll stop in a minute. It's already covered, so you basically, the silver's already on. You can see it. But if I hold this on only for a second or so, look, it's, over, it's straight away, it's, it's burning basically. So you can play it over and over again, and it will remove it, or you use MPU to remove this kind of, you know, imperfection. But if you play it over and over again, it will remove all the, you know, damage what you have done before. Basically, it's done. Rinse it, and that's it. Basically, so just the silver plating solution you can get from spa plating directly in spa plating shop, and yeah, so the silver on there. You can see the different. Right, and then I clean it off with a tissue. Basically, and you can, if there any, if there's any imperfection on the plating or so, which normally doesn't, there's perfect. The plating is always perfect if you do it right. It's always the, the item where you plate on. You can see the difference there. Uh, cleaning, activating is 
the preparation before you plate is always very very important like with every plating um, yeah that's basically it all my details are on here my uh, website eBay shop and I have another eBay shop and I only sell limited stuff on on my shop or website the rest if you need anything else you can get from spar plating directly the silver for example or do I sell it on or sell it on the website as well on my website is silver if not you can get it from spar plating directly yeah as always thanks for watching please subscribe thumbs up and I'll do another video very soon. Thank you. Bye.